Mr. Burroughs, Noah Dalton, your uncle's attorney, my deepest sympathies. It was his private journal. He was most explicit that you, and only you, would read its contents. But you might possibly find some kind of explanation in here. I'll leave you now. Again, my condolences. My dear Edgar, I remember how I used to take you on my knee and tell you wild tales which you always did me the great courtesy of believing. Now you are grown. Time and space have parted us, but I reach out across that distance to that same wide-eyed boy and ask him to believe me once more. This wild tale begins 13 years ago in the Arizona Territory, between the Pinaleno Mountains and the backside of hell. Spider bait. <laughs> no more, Carter. Is there a problem, Mr. Dix? Yes, you're a goddamn loon. <laughs> Doesn't took all your money, Carter. Your tab's a hundred dollars in the rear. I'll pay. This old Yava pay I met said he'd seen the cave, man. No, stop. Not one more word about your cave of gold. Oh, now, now. Show some respect. It's the evil spider, Cave of Gold. <laughs> <laughs> you cut off, Carter. Now get on home. Now, I do believe he done told you to get on out of here. I'll leave when these bags are full. <laughs> Found that two days ago, up by Bonita. That ought to cover my tab and then some. Beans. The first item is beans. John Carter, your presence is requested up at the fort. I suggest you come peaceably. Do you now? You are a difficult man to find, Captain John Carter. First Virginia Cavalry, Army of Northern Virginia, Confederate States of America. I'm Colonel Powell. Welcome to the Seventh Cavalry of the United States. <laughs> Excellent horsemen, fine swordsmen, decorated six times, including the Southern Cross of Honor. At Five Forks, the company under your command nearly turned the tide. In short, a born fighter. And in the eyes of Uncle Sam, a necessary man for the defense of the Arizona Territory. No. Son, we are up to our chin straps in Apaches. In my concern. I believe it is your concern, Captain. Folks are being attacked in their own homes. Slain. You started it. You finish it. Oh. You've gone native, have you? Well, Apaches can go to hell, too. We're nothing but a warm species, and I want no part of it. You're a cavalry man. That makes you valuable to our country and our cause. Colonel Powell, sir, 
whatever it is you suppose I owe you, our country, or any other beloved cause I have already paid. I have paid in full, sir. So let me tell you what I will do. I will break me out of this cell. I will claim my gold and get filthy rich. Rich enough to buy your flat, righteous blue bind. Just so I can kick it all day long. <laughs> And I'm finding it difficult to reconcile the man on this piece of paper with the one I'm looking at. Now, I suggest you find the horse sense to accept my offer before I give in to my better judgment. Private, the man stays in the bull pit till further notice. Yes, sir. John. John. Sleepyhead. Supper's waiting for you. Hey, 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 hey! I gave you a bucket. I ain't gonna tell you again. Use the bucket. Shut your damn mouth, Corporal. She saw Hashinta. Kunansinka. Disi Lada Bijadi. Dunidi. Swadi. Disi Lada. Bija. Ati. What's he saying, Carter? He. Bija. A coli. There's two. Toka. What the hell's he saying now? There's Tana. What the hell's he saying, Carter? He's saying. Carter, rated PG-13, in theaters and IMAX 3D Friday.